Hello everybody, Melissa here at TCT Crafts Designs and Decor. Today we are going to do a very simple fall grapevine wreath. So I wanted to switch it up a little bit. We've been doing Christmas designs, but it is fall, right? So let's do a fall grapevine wreath. It's going to be super easy. We're going to attempt to do this project with just two supplies. So we're going to be using just a um, dusty green fern. And then we're going to be using our fall leaf spray, okay? I don't think we're going to put any ribbon in it. We'll see as the design goes. Um, but right now, I think we're just going to keep it super simple. A little pretty um, fall grapevine wreath that can go on your front door. So, let's go ahead. I'm going to drop you down and we will get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fix our grapevine a little bit. So, if you've seen me do grapevines before, um, typically I'll take and and put some moss in here. Um, these cheaper grapevines, they're very airy. Your pixels just go right through them. So I usually will put some moss in here, but I did want to show you a different way. I learned this little trick from uh, my friend Ashley at Three Gold Greenwoods Creations. You guys go check her out if you haven't seen her. We are just going to take some wire, okay? And super simple. I'm going to turn this to the back side. Going to take some wire and we're just going to twist and that's going to help pull that together and we don't want to do it super super tight we want to make sure we can still get our picks in there but this is just going to help pull that grapevine together and um give us a little bit more support for those picks so they don't go all the way through our grapevine okay so i'm just going to twist I'm going to do this all the way around my grapevine in several places. So I'm going to get this ready to go. And then we're going to hang it up on our easel. And we will get started. Before I hang this up, I did want to show you how I add the hanger to my grapevine. So I just use these paper stem wires. I bought them on line. This is an 18 gauge. So it's just an 18 gauge wire and it's wrapped in paper. If you can't find the ones that's wrapped in paper, just use a wire, just to use an 18 gauge uh, wire. But I'm just gonna run that up and I'm going to twist. Okay, and I'm gonna run it down on the other side. And twist. And now I have a little now I have a little hanger for my grapevine, and you will not see that hanger by the time we get through with our design. So I'm going to go ahead and hang you guys up, and then we will get started. Okay, I have it up on our easel. I'm just going to take a little bit of my wire here, and I'm just going to tie my grapevine to my easel just a little bit so it's not flipping and flopping all over us. And then I'll cut it off when we get done. So I'll just help hold it there and it's not moving around and creating all kinds of drama. So I have already cut up one of our ferns and um, let's see, I cut up five of our fall weed spray um, so that you guys don't have to sit here and wait for me to cut them all up. So we're just going to start getting our fern out in. Okay. And this is just going to be an all the way around design. So we're just going to get these added all the way around. Be careful with your picks so that they are not going straight through the back of that grapevine. You will want to check the back of your design when you're done if there's any that did manage to go through the back because it can happen, especially with these thinner grapevines. Um, just take and, you know, get your wire cutters and just snip the, snip the back of that. We're going to try to catch it, but sometimes they do go through. So I'm just going all the way around. We're just creating our base here. And even though I tied this grapevine together, it's still got some, some gaps in there. So we probably still will have to pull out our moss, but going to uh we're gonna see so 
So I'm just going in a circular, circular pattern. Okay, now I started uh, to the right of my design. You could start to the left, it really doesn't matter. This is just kind of our help setting our perimeter here. Now these don't really bend very well, so that's why I'm putting them just as a base. And we can go back and add more in a second. I just want to get kind of our main perimeter done. Okay, so we've kind of gone on the outside. I'm going to put a few on the inside. So towards, closer towards the inside of our design. We might be able to just get away with one of these ones. Let's see. I brought two. This is going to be a pretty quick, pretty quick arrangement. Like I said, we're going to try to get away with just two products. If we get it going and I don't like it, we need to add something else. We can we can do that. Just wanted a little simple fall design to show you guys. Let me put this on. Do not disturb. You guys don't hear all my notifications going off. So I'm going to pull, use a couple pieces and I'm going to kind of have them creating some movement to the inside of our design a little bit on the center. Let's see if I've got another small piece. Here's one. We put this. Okay, so I brought some movement into the center of our design. Let's go ahead and stop with our fern. I've got a couple pieces left. Let's get start adding our little fall leaves right now. I've just pulled these apart. There's different leaves in here. We're just going to mix and match as we go. Now let's see if I can get away without putting a pick on some of these. Most of these have some pretty good spins. I'm going to give this a little bit of a bend. Okay, I'm going to go in with a, a different leaf. So we're just going to kind of mix and match here. And if you want to add a bow to yours, you can definitely do so. I'm just creating some movement. I'm not leaving them flat against the great line. So give your leaves some bend. Okay. And I'll show you the depth on that here at least. Just a bit so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It's not, I'm not putting it like flat on my grapevine. 
save. In, straighten, give them a bend. Oh, I forgot I tied it on there. I'm gonna have to show you at the end. Oh, I just pulled it off, so never mind. No, I didn't. Okay, I'll show you guys at the end because I forgot to tie that in. So at the end, I'll kind of show you the, the depth on that. Okay, so I'm giving them a bend. I'm going to go straight in. Beautiful. Let's get this little, this little piece here. Yeah, I'm going straight in, and if it goes all the way through, I'm not worried about it. I will trim it off when we get done. Now, I am that piece is not in there very well just because of the gap in our grapevine. I'm just going to take a little tiny piece of my brown floss. Add just a little bit of blue. Be very careful so you don't burn yourself. Now, I'm just going to. Push that in there, help hold that stem. And just keep that moss handy just in case we need to be. Just blend that with your blend that with your fern. So we're gonna get these outside pieces added. We'll go back in with the center and we'll just kind of fill in around where we need where we need some more. Let's see, let's go in with that one. To start filling around on the inside here. Bring in those leaves toward the middle, giving them a nice little bend. Hit that little piece with a little bit of moss. Just make it a little ball with my moss and adding a tiny bit of glue to it, and then I'm just gonna secure that stem with that moss. The bad thing about these grapevines, I wish I could find a grapevine company that had some good grapevine moss. I've been on the lookout, but I haven't found any. 
I did find one, but the shipping on the green one was, I mean, it was ridiculous with the amount that they wanted to ship them. So I just couldn't do it because I have to charge so much for them. Just going in with some of the smaller leaves, I don't know how you say, uh, not these really long ones, I'm going in with some of the shorter pieces. Hit with a little bit of moss. And I love this brown moss. I get it from Amazon. I will have it linked as well as the supplies down in the description of the video. But I love the brown moss when working with the gray lines. Okay. Now we're just going to start filling in and trying to hide some of our mechanics. I've got a spot right here where I can see the mechanics, so we're just going to start kind of filling in. And let me step back and take a look. Okay, we need to start filling some more around the outside as well. I can see that when I step back. It's hard sometimes when you're designing right up on it to see what you're making. So we're going to start going towards the outside now and filling that in a little bit more behind that front. So I'm taking some of these longer pieces now. I'll mix it in with a few of the shorter pieces. Blend it in with our fern. I love how easy those fit. Yeah, that's how you want it.
Okay, I'm gonna go right in here. I've got a little bit of a, a little bit of a hole. I'm going to need moss because it is just going right through, right through that grapevine. Some coming in this way. But I can still see some mechanics right there, so I'm going to get, I'm just going to pull this one leaf off of this one. some holes right here. So I'm going to take another one of these leaves. Still seeing our mechanics when we're done, we can go back and hit with the moss. Let me step back a couple slots, maybe right up in here. And I'm going to take a couple of these longer ones. And I'm a little heavy on my fern right here. Sure, you give your stems a nice bend, bend them however, in whatever direction you want them to go. Okay. One more down at the bottom. but I still have a couple spots that I personally just want to hit. So I'm going to go in with my last one. This is completely optional. If you want to keep the cost down a little bit, just stop there. But I am going to go in with one more. I see a couple spots I want a little bit more fullness.
And of course, I'll see you a lot too when I get it hung up and do my photos. Then you'll kind of see where your piece needs a little bit more love. We are almost done here. And this is a super simple design. Just something cute for your front door for the fall season. Okay, I've got two more pieces. Cut this up and down because this is our big piece. So that would give me two leaves. This, this one. I'm probably going to save those others for when I get it hung up to do my photos. I'll be able to tell a little bit more where I want. I think I'm going to go heavy right here on the I'm going to go ahead and add another piece right in here. There we go. Okay, you can see the, the depth on that so it's not flat. It's not flat against our wreath. I will go back. I've got a couple of stems that came through, so we're just going to flip them with some moss in some places where it needs it and um i think we're pretty good so super simple little fall design i hope you guys enjoyed if you're new to our channel we would love to have you subscribe just hit that little notification bell and you'll be notified every time we have a new tutorials and if you're loving all of our tutorials and you want a couple exclusive every month we do have our membership group open um, for less than a cup of coffee you can cancel anytime. We would love to have you guys over there. So until next time, bye y'all.